everyone and welcome back to our channel. This will be a quick tutorial on how to use Zoho survey and create your first ever survey using this app. So when you open up Zoho survey, you can see this display with different types of departments. So you can create different types of departments, for example, for sales and marketing, and only the employees that work in different departments will be able to access the surveys that are placed in a certain department. Let's go to my department and see how the layout looks like. So here you can see all of the surveys that have been created within this department and also some of the analytics. So for example, the responses the different surveys got. To create a survey, you can press the here on the plus button or press on this button, create a survey. So you can create a survey from scratch or choose from a template. There are a lot of different templates that are very useful and that you can use and also customize. So there's different customer satisfactions, surveys, for example, the new feature feedback. You can see that there's two pages with nine different questions. You can go through the list of the questions and see if this uh, survey fits your business needs. The list of the templates is very extensive. And again, you can customize these templates and add additional fields if you feel the need to. It is a very useful feature and it will save you a lot of the time that you will spend on creating surveys. But we will create the survey from scratch. So let's go to the create new survey. Also, I had to mention that there is a feature of copying the existing survey. So if you have a survey that you've been using, but you need to add a bit more fields and create a new survey, you just can copy the one that you already made. But let's create a survey from scratch. Let's name it. And then you can choose a category. So there are different types of categories, for example, customer satisfaction, human resources, education, marketing, events, healthcare, nonprofit, government and political, business, e-commerce and others. And also for all of these categories, there are form templates. So I would highly recommend checking out if they are templates already created because there is a high chance that some of them will suit your business needs. But we will create again from scratch a customer satisfaction survey because it's the type of survey that is used the most. So let's click create and the survey builder will open up. Here you can see the survey builder and also all of the fields that you can easily drag and drop here. All of the fields are very similar to Zoho Forms. Uh, we have already made the Zoho Forms tutorial. If you want, you can click the link in the corner or down below in the description box. And I will go through some of the most useful fields that you will use a lot. Uh, for example, there is different multiple choice with one answer or many answers, drop downs with one answer or many answers. And there's also metric choice, metrics choices with one or many answers. I would highly recommend using the full name field because it has already two fields, the first and also the last name. You can make this question mandatory, which we will do now just by pressing here. And then you can also uh, change the error message. So if they want to skip this uh, question, there will be a message appearing and you can change it. There are also some of the advanced features. So for example, the length of the answer, you can prepopulate the answer and also encrypt the answer. There is also a display logic and answer display logic that I will go through in when I will be talking about some of the different other fields. Then if we're talking about the customer satisfaction survey, obviously we will need to use some star ratings or rating scales or a slider scale. And I want to talk about the NPS, which is also a very highly used field. So let's insert it here. And then let's make a question. For example, would you recommend us to uh, your friends or relatives? Here you can type in the question and also you can customize the text. So you can make it bold, italic, underline, you can change the size of it, the color of it, and like the text color and also the background color. You can also insert a link or insert an image or a video if you need some of the context for this question, you have this uh, option available. You can also again make this field mandatory and then you can represent the NPS with different numbers, smileys, boxes, circles, rectangles or custom images, which is very useful. I would use circles. 
Uh, here you can see different types of the circles and what it like offers you. I would choose this minimalistic option. And then you can also customize the color of it. So we are using mostly this type of like uh, darker blue shades. So let's customize the color. Uh, here you have to type in what zero means in this case and 10 means in this case. So here, definitely not. I would not recommend it because the question is, would you recommend this to your friends? So if you're rating zero, definitely not. And 10 is absolutely. You can also use some advanced options, again, pre-populate answer, add comments field or question hint. If you want to get a bit more feedback, you can add the comments field, which is very useful. And it will be uh, additional field added, but I would add another field and I will show you in a bit. So I will not add this one. And then let's save it. And afterwards, I also want to get feedback only if a customer ranked the business low. So let's choose a long answer field inserted here. So the long answer question will be, please share your feedback. And then there will be a display logic. Uh, so you can always display the question, never display the question. And this is the option that we're looking for. Display the question only if a certain condition is met. So if a field, would you recommend us to your friends is less than, for example, six. So if someone rates your business less than six, then they will see uh, this field, only the ones that rated your business low, they will see this field uh, where they will have to leave their feedback. I won't go through all of the fields that are represented here because again, most of them are pretty self-explanatory and very easy to use. I would also add a file upload. So for example, if you're a restaurant or you're selling something and the customers are not happy with their experience, maybe it's wise to give them an option to share some pictures. So for example, if they didn't like their meal, they can also not only write the feedback, but also insert the pictures of the meal and what was wrong with it. So for example, you can ask them to share the pictures of the issues so you can improve. You can choose different file types, the file sizes, also file upload limits, uh, different types of labels, and you can also add different fields here. And again, we will display this field only if they rank us low. There's also a useful feature of answer display logic where you can also display or hide these fields for this question based on the responses you received for the previous questions. So I think this short survey will be enough. You can also add other pages and add more questions to the survey. You can also make a title and description. So the title and the description will be visible to the recipients of the survey and to those that are taking it. So let's save it. And now let's go to the settings. There are a lot of different settings. So for example, I would highly recommend using the logo of your company. You can add the picture here and then insert it uh, in the while making your own branded survey. Also, there's an option to add a footer. So for example, you can thank all of your customers for participating in this survey. You can also insert the images with your logo or insert the links to your social medias or something like that. There are also different types of pre there are also different types of preferences. So for example, you can show a progress bar. This feature is very, very useful, especially if you're making a long survey. So the person can understand how many questions that they went through and how many there are more. Also, you can show question numbers, enable captcha, show the previous button and skip the first page if all of the questions are pre-populated. You can also choose the text for the submit button, next button and other types of buttons. You can also configure this survey in different types of languages and add the language here. Uh, there can, you can also add the introduction page. So if again, the survey is more hard, a bit longer, maybe you want to get a bit more context for the survey for your customer and add the introduction page to the survey. Uh, the terms and conditions, the timer, you can also add a timer for the survey and you can also enable uh, the option of uh, saving uh, the answers and continuing later if the survey again is longer. Uh, quota, you can add uh, the survey quota. So for example, you can limit the number of responses 
you will receive in this survey. Also, you can set up the collector quota and also the conditional quota. There is also a very useful feature of document merge. So you can click create to make formatted documents like business proposals, acknowledgements and certificates based on the survey responses. You can also add the survey end page. There's already added the Zoho service thank you page. You can also show the summary of responses, show the submitted response, uh, show a custom message that you want to include or redirect to a new page. So for example, to your website. You can also set up survey over quota page, survey disqualification page, also the response editing restriction page, the API address restriction page and closed surveys page. And also you can add the social media preview. So if you share the survey over social medias, uh, you can uh, choose how it will be displayed. So the settings are very easy to go through. They are not that complicated, but they help to customize the survey to your needs. Now let's go to the themes. So uh, you can save and use different types of themes that you have created in the past. So for example, you can create a theme for your company with your branded colors, with logos, with your branded uh, fonts and customize the look of your survey completely to your business needs. And you don't have to go through the process every single time. You can do it once and then use it for all of the surveys that you will create in the future. So let's create a theme. So first of all, it comes with some uh, colors that you can use uh, that are pre-designed. You can see here, you can choose from different options. Let's choose this option. You can choose different types of fonts depending on your uh, business and what fonts do you usually use uh, there. So let's use this one. I like this one the most. Uh, you can also uh, change the form opacity, make it the corners a bit more round. I like that. And give a bit more shadow to the form. Uh, you can also uh, make the border of the form in like dashed or a single line or a double line. We won't do that. And you can make it a standard form or a large form. Uh, these are the general settings of the form. You can also customize the background so you can choose the patterns that you can use like there are pre-designed patterns. Uh, you can just choose a background color or you can choose the image which is very useful. So for example, if you have the image with small logos of your company or something like that, then you can choose it as the background. But I will just use the background color which will be a bit lighter I would say. Now let's go to the header. You can customize the header. You can insert an image. Uh, you can change the header back color so you can make it a bit darker and then also change the title color to white so you can see it actually there. Again, you can change the fonts, uh, the title size, you can make it smaller, bigger, however you like. The alignment, you can add the divider. In this case, we don't need it because it's pretty, um, it has a pretty dark background. And you can also customize the width of the divider and the divider color. Let's move on to the body. You can also change the color of the body. Also for the page description, again, there are a lot of different settings that you can go through and you can also make the divider between the questions a bit more wide and change also the color of it. And maybe you want to use a single line, not a dashed line. There's so many different options that you can go through and you can also change the color of the button. It was like this pinkish color. I made it uh, bluish. And here you can see our survey. And then there's also settings for the footer. Again, you can customize it fully. And also the you can change the styles of the survey depending on the language. So here you can save and apply this theme. And then you can use it for all of the other surveys that you will create in the future once again. Let's go back and then preview it. You can see how it looks like on different devices. So for example, in horizontal or vertical tablet view and horizontal 
and vertical uh, phone view and uh, how it will look on the personal computer. So here you can see our survey, you can see all of the fields, you can only see now two of the fields. So if we rank higher than six, no additional fields will appear. But if we go lower than six, you can see the field of sharing your feedback and also sharing the pictures so you can improve and you can choose the file here and then click the submit button. This is it for our quick survey tutorial. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. And also leave in the comments below any questions that you may have and I will see you in the next week's video.